Measurement of the crown rump length. To begin the assignment, I lift the probe from the constraint and withdraw it fully. I then click Next. I now introduce the probe in the sagittal plane and click Next. Identify the correct plane for the CRL measurement. I demonstrate a midline sagittal section of the fetus, with the fetus appearing horizontal on the screen, and with the line from crown to rump at 90 degrees to the ultrasound beam. I optimise the gain and time gain compensation to achieve an even image throughout the depth, and if necessary, I adjust the depth of field, then the zoom, and pan the image so that the fetus fills more than 60% of the field of view. To pan, I click on the smaller ultrasound image and move the image to my desired location. I then click on the smaller ultrasound image to stop panning. I ensure that the fetal head is in line with the full length of the body and that the fetus is in a neutral position, neither hyperextended or flexed and that both the crown and the rump are clearly defined, and that there is amniotic fluid between the crown and the uterine wall and the rump in the uterine wall, and that the anterior maxillary process is not visible. The following features should now be visible. The echogenic nasal tip, level 2, or above the anterior abdominal wall. The fetal palate should be 30 to 60 degrees to the horizontal, the diencephalons should be visible, and a pocket of fluid between the fetal chin and the chest, at least equivalent in size to the width of the palate, and the full length of the fetal spine. I then capture my image, and keep the ultrasound image frozen, and then click Next. I now label the nasal tip using the ABC labeling tool I then keep the ultrasound image frozen and click Next. I will now label the fetal palate using the ABC label tool. I then click Next. I now label the diencephalon. I then click Next. I will now measure the crown rump length. As there is insufficient space for my new annotations, I press the Delete All button to remove my previous annotations. I then open the Obstetric Measurement sub-menu. I then click on the CRL button and measure the crown rump length. I capture my image and click Next. I then withdraw the probe to complete the scan. I now redock the probe by angling it towards the top of the restraint and then lowering it into its docked position. 